You see how much ice and snow that cow has on her? And then look at, look at little Joe here. And look at this one. What are you doing? So what's up guys? We are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, notification bell. Or else if you don't, then you'll get this thrown out your face. I'm just kidding. So today it's out here snowing in Oklahoma. We got about half an inch of snow. And we're gonna go check on the animals and break ice and stuff. Well, I would say we have more than an, a half an inch of, of snow. But here's the thing. It's not, I mean, it's cold out here, but it's not just miserable cold. But it started yesterday with freezing rain for about four or five hours, which made a solid sheet of ice on everything. And then it started sleeting for probably two or three hours. So then we had about a half inch of ice and sleet. Then it started snowing today. So yeah, but we're gonna check on the animals, make sure everybody's doing good. I had everybody tucked in well last night when I went to bed. This morning got up, a couple cows. A couple of the mini Herefords are covered in ice, and a couple of them are not at all. Uh, the ice on their face. The donkeys. Have ice on their face. <laughs> Why? They were, okay, so listen. They slept under the barn last night. I, I checked on them at dark. But apparently at some point they came out. Freedom, you have icicles hanging from your eyes. Can I get that off your eyelash? So what happens, Houston, is it's cold enough out here as that snow falls on them and builds up it their body heat melts the snow it turns into water and then they get icicles hanging off their face just like how icicles hang off our house let's go get them some treats and go check on the goats yeah. now before we go in here's here's the situation in under this side of the barn hang on earl old pepper she's staying warm pepper don't have a problem staying warm she's got a lot of cover now alpacas are in here there's like I don't know eight or ten chickens everybody's all bundled up because the barn blocks the north wind so they've got a good place to stay dry comfortable and I just peel off hay off the hay bale for the goats in there I'll throw a bunch of loose hay in here and they pick at it and lay on it and stuff and they're all good so let's go get some treats and check on the baby goats okay. I can't see anything but the side of your head the front of your I barely even see any skin on you you just have a hoodie on but you act like it's frigid temperatures out here well, it kind of is. It's nice having heat in the barn. I'm able to pull my <laughs> my diesel pickup in here. A lot of people have issues with diesels the, the in the south anyways. When it gets super cold, our fuel doesn't have the additive in there that a lot of people in the far north have, so they'll gel up. Well, we keep it about 55 degrees in here. It's nice and toasty. And I started something yesterday while it was freezing rain. I thought, you know, I got heat in the shop now. Why don't we start a few seeds in here? So. What I did was got some in my gardener seeds, and uh, these are those um, green stalk garden planters that roll around you put on your patio. I've used them for a couple of years, but I started some kale, bok choy, beets, lettuce, spinach, some different things in here uh, for greens for us and for Houston's tortoise. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 How you guys doing? Hmm? Hmm? Well, those babies can get through. They can get under the gate over here. That's all right. Lambert, looks like you haven't had a baby yet. If you could hold off until after this cold, I'd really appreciate that. Wait till it's back in the 50s. What's up, bear? Baby goats are all doing good. They've uh, found their creep feeder set up that I put up for them. So they're getting a little bit of grain, which Helps keep them warm. That one's got to figure out how to get back in here. Look at their ears. Over there. Yeah, the show heifers are hungry. They need to be fed, but they uh, they just stay out in the cold at night. They didn't even come in here. They, When I got up this morning, they were just uh, all had rain, had uh, snow and ice all over them. The goats do not sleep out in the rain and snow and ice, but uh, they're all doing good. Aren't you, Mama Goat? Three ducks, doing what three ducks do. Listen, hang on, listen. Yeah, when you walk, you can hear the ice cracking under your feet, huh? Yeah. It's starting to snow again. It's coming down pretty good at the moment. 
Hey, can I see what's under your under your stage here? There's a few little babies under there hiding out. <laughs> he never even jumped down, did he? Isaac, why do you hang out over here, buddy? Huh? Why not go in the barn with everybody else? I had to pile a bunch of hay because Isaac likes to sleep up against this wall, which the rain and the snow, he's undercover, don't get me wrong, but that's where he always likes to sleep. I don't know what his deal is with that. I need to get some treats. Hey, did, uh, did mom tell you we had three babies while you and I were in Florida? Yeah. She thought we only had one, ended up it was three. Yeah. That's one of our new ones, huh? Yeah. You know what we haven't done? What? Ear tagged our baby goats. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to do that soon, you know what? Yeah. Bella! Hey there, baby. All right, I went and got a few treats for the donkeys and the cows and Pepper, she looks cold, don't she? So Pepper <laughs> has multiple options of where to sleep, but she likes to build her a, a hut in the ice. That's not Pepper, by the way. You see how much ice and snow that cow has on her? And then look at, look at little Joe here. And look at this one. <laughs> Laney Joe and little Joe like to sleep in the barn. The other two just stay out in the elements. Didn't bother them a bit. So Pepper's been sleeping over here mostly. I had her bedded down really well in some hay. It doesn't look like much because it's all packed down, but it was a foot deep in loose hay right there yesterday. Yeah, it was. I may pull some more off. And a couple of the mini Herefords have been going under this little shed. That really wasn't my intent with that shed, but they fit, so they've been going under there, haven't they? Yeah. Here's Steve and Freedom. Here, buddy. You want a treat? Pepper, you're scaring the donkeys away. You don't even like these. See? Oh. Hang on, hang on, Steve. Steve. <laughs> That's not Steve. Steve's over there. Joe, get back. Get Joe. back. Alright. That ain't working out. Hey, I want to feed the donkeys. Here you go, Laney Joe. You want a treat? It's chilly out here, isn't it? We'll feed y'all in just a little bit. Give them a full belly. And uh, that'll help keep them warm. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Pepper likes your treats, don't you? Here, Steve. Here. Come get it before the, the cows get back over here. That was freedom. Sorry. <laughs> I was looking at Steve, but I said... I was looking at Freedom, but I said Steve, so here you go, Steve. You got you got icicles on your face, buddy. You got the pepper. We'll feed him in just a minute. Pepper. Come here, pepper. Nope, she's like, uh, watch out for that big cow. <laughs> you still using the skate right here? Yep. I snuck the alpaca some food earlier that only they could get to. Well, maybe the chickens too, but the donkeys and the cows couldn't get to it. So uh, they, got a, they got a free snack earlier that nobody else got. You're welcome, Rufus. I know you don't like me, but I like you, buddy. Excuse us, pardon me, coming through. Gotta go feed. Hey, watch out for, watch out for little Joe. He'll kind of push you around a little bit, so. If you want to get out the gate and let me buy you, I'll, I'll push him out of the way. Here. Back up. Back up, Joe. Back up, Joe. Come on, Houston. Go dump it in this long trough right here. Or that one. Oh my gosh, did you just see that? Yeah. Not quite all of it, just dump most of it in there. 
A little more. You only dumped half of it. Just leave a little in the bucket. Spread it down. Okay. Now, dump the rest in one of these tubs. That way the pig doesn't have to fight the cows for food. And the more we spread it out, the more evenly everybody gets to eat. Here you go, donkeys. Here, Houston. Go dump this in that other trough. Came out and busted ice first thing this morning. It's frozen over again. Not bad. <laughs> You're gonna fall in that trough. And then this one for pepper that the ducks got all muddy. I'm gonna have to dump it out. But we gotta get pepper some fresh water. Careful, that plastic will break when it's cold, okay? There it went. Oh, dang. That's ugly water. All right, let's scoop pepper some water out of here. Skip, I don't have anything for you to eat yet. I'll come feed you in just a second. This might be a wrestling match. Goats are hungry. Come on. Come on, goat. Let's go. Come on, goat. Let's go, Isaac. Come on. There, what are you doing? You want goat food? Oh, their feet are froze to the ground, Houston. Look at that. Look at that sheet of ice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me just kick it real quick. That's crazy. What the heck? Well, that one this has got a, a solid sheet of ice in it too. Yeah. Back up. Oh yeah. No? Oh, yeah, it's kind of rough out here at this time of the year. Cause it might be really snowy or not be at all and it may be 72 degrees or maybe 12 degrees yep only thing left to feed now is the babies and the show heifers not all of the, ba the uh, babies have found the uh the little creek feeder pen we've set up but they will look at them all getting Look around how pretty that one is i named that one junior the real pretty one feeding the uh the baby goats this same ration that we're feeding the show heifers right now because it has a little molasses in it but uh this little creek feeder gate came from premier one supplies i've had it for several years now there's one little goat in here we got a little baby goat i gotta put some more food in they're figuring it out pretty quick Let's go feed your show heifers. It's hard to open this close. Hey Maggie, are you hungry today? There we go. One bucket down, let's go get another one. All right, all the farm animals are fed. We're gonna go for a little ride and uh, go put some feed out for the deer because 
<laughs> when the weather's like this, they don't have a lot of food options. What are you doing? Earl, get down! Water. <sighs> Looks like an ice fishing hole. Yeah, it does. I bet you don't catch anything in that hole, though. <coughs> Me too. Come on, Gemma. Come on, get up here. wind's cold blowing in here. Yeah, it is. Do you go sand bass fishing? No. I don't feel like going fishing. I said sand bass. I don't feel like going fishing for anything. <laughs> I feel like doing my chores. And going and stoking up the fire and sitting by the fire. The pond is not frozen at all. Nope. That's crazy. It just hasn't been cold enough yet to freeze it solid. Or to freeze, you know, the surface. It's not going to freeze solid, but... Though. All right, let's check on the deer feeder and make sure it's still got plenty of food. This was the, uh, you know, filled up with the same feed that we uh, feed our livestock about, I don't know, a week ago. Oh yeah, they've still got plenty. It's over half full, but this gives the, the deer a good option for food. While it's cold like this, they can come in and eat however much they need to stay warm. All right, load up. What the heck? What? There's no snow out in there. Because the grass is tall. Birds. Overnight. Overnight there was. There's some tracks, raccoon tracks. Yep. Some kind of tracks right there. Deer feeder still got corn in it, but we just add a little extra food on the ground just to help them out. in she decided it's too cold <laughs> yeah she's been going for a run come on Gemma get up here come on <laughs> is your belly getting cold in the snow yeah look how bad my fingers are thin. so cold <laughs> Thank you.
Animals are fed, livestock's fed, wild animals are fed. Everybody's ice is busted. We've been gone for 20 minutes or so. Just to prove a point, the cows do come up here under the barn. Not all the time, but they will do it. So by the time you guys are seeing this, I'm sure all the snow is already gone in your area if you got snow or well, from this storm. <laughs> Some of you get snow all the time. This is a rarity for us. Maybe once or twice a year if we're lucky and and i'm okay with that snow's fun i want it to be here for like a day or two and then gone because last february oh my goodness it stayed below freezing for like two weeks and all the water was frozen up at the barn i was hauling water to all the animals in five gallon buckets thankfully we didn't have five hereford cattle then so it wasn't as bad but having to haul water in single digit temperatures you know three times a day not much fun so anyways i'm gonna go in stoke the fire eat some supper and have a good evening so guys that's all i've got for today thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.